We all know college costs more than ever. Many students and their families are taking on enormous debt. Well, State Senator Eric Lesser has introduced the Student Bill of Rights aimed at addressing the situation. The Senator and students Christiana Tadeo and Juhi Dasrath came in to talk about the effort. At best, they're not told what's involved in the interest rate payments and in the scale of the loans and how long they're going to last. And at worst, they're actively deceived uh, and misled uh, about what the interest rates will be, what the payment schedules will be. And oftentimes, it seems like everyone in this system uh, is working to protect the bank and the financial institution and the servicer rather than protecting the student and their family for doing what all of us want them to do and have asked them to do, which is to go and get an education so that they can be productive members of society. So the idea behind our bill is to give some protections uh, to our students and to their families so that there will be someone in the regulatory system looking out for them, looking out for students, uh, and making sure that we can, for example, hold those banks and servicers accountable when they do things that are deceptive or violate um, the, the law. Juhi Dasrath, let, let me ask you, and, and correct me if I get anything wrong, but first of all, we're very proud. You were a student intern here for a bit at uh, Channel 57. We're very proud of that. You graduated from STCC with your associate's degree. You're at University of Massachusetts now. You told me, though, before you worked with a group that counseled, I guess would be the right word, students who got themselves into some financial debt. So while you come away from a place like STCC without being saddled with a lot of debt, you sure know about a lot of stories of folks who've been in some trouble. Yeah, um, I worked for a nonprofit organization called FENOM. Uh, that's an acronym for the Public Higher Education Network of Massachusetts. Um, it was, uh, my boss was Natalie Higgins, who is now state representative mm -hmm. of uh, Lemonster. Mm -hmm. Uh, she was great. It was in a the house sponsor, I think, exactly yeah. of this same bill. Excuse me, I didn't mean to jump yeah, in. Yeah, no, that's okay. <clears throat> Go right ahead. Yeah, she she was fantastic. Um, I got a lot of my uh, education about loans and and debt in higher education from her. Um, I don't know if counsel would be the right word, okay. um, but I was more of an advocate for what higher education debt in higher education meant for students, um, and sharing the importance of getting rid of that in public institutions such as UMass, um, Springfield Technical Community College, Holyoke Community College, and uh, the affiliates for UMass, mm -hmm. and uh, Westfield State as well. Mm -hmm. Let me come back to you to pick up on some of that. Christiana Tadeo, you're getting ready to graduate from STCC. Congratulations. Thank you. I know you're Thank going you. on to private school I am. in the Boston area. Oh, boy. <laughs> I, I'm not going to mention the school. Feel free to. But I, I know that it is not an inexpensive place. Are you now concerned about exactly what the senator is talking about in terms of borrowing money, student debt in a couple of years? What, what's in your mind at this point? Um, so I will be attending a Simmons College in Boston, Massachusetts for biochemistry on a pre-med track. Um, I am and I am not concerned about that because mm -hmm. of the way that STIC facilitated um, and prepared me. Mm -hmm. um, and left me essentially debt-free when graduating this spring. So what I mean by that is that the scholarships and the opportunities that STIC has provided me has set me up financially to be able to um, get the cost down to Simmons almost to nothing. And I know that's that sounds in, uh, that sounds crazy because Simmons is upwards of like 50K mm -hmm. a year. Um, but like I said, through the scholarships and coming out of stick debt free and the scholarships I've been receiving through Simmons throughout the past month, um, it's really lowered the costs. And I believe that through Springfield Technical Community College, this without it, it wouldn't have been possible. Okay. Senator, we've got two very, very bright yeah. students here. Obviously, we're talking scholarships, things like that, and I hope not everybody finds themselves in that situation when they whether they go to the two years at community college then go on for the four-year degree. Where you, you especially want to make sure that the state has some power to really oversee right. the loan servicers, the providers. You're worried about that. So first, you know, Juhi and Christiana are exactly 
I wish we could clone you both, uh, uh, time, you know, times thousands. Uh, we need their story and their path replicated across the Commonwealth. We need all our young people uh, to be able to feel like they have the same access to college uh, that they've had. And you've worked very hard, and you deserve, our young people deserve the chance to focus on their studies, focus on their careers, focus on building their lives and getting started, rather than being uh, consumed with debt and collector's bills and um, interest rate payments. So what we're trying to do is to make sure that as you move through this process, there's protections in place. So one of the things our bill does is it creates an ombudsman uh, based in the Division of Banks in Massachusetts. And this is a designated person in office who will be known to everyone, who will be compiling and collecting complaints and issues that students are experiencing, publishing those complaints so that banks can be held accountable. And importantly, we're going to give that ombudsman the power to, for example, collect back payments if they've been improperly collected, um, assess fines against servicers and banks that violate uh, the rules, and generally give tools to students like um, our two we have here so that we can replicate uh, this type of story. It's worth pointing out the match program uh, that you're both benefiting from, the, the STIC match program to then transition to a four-year bachelor's degree, is one of the most cost-effective ways that we can get young people. Uh, everyone's nodding their head because we know, uh, we know how uh, cost-effective this program is. But it's not free. Uh, and, it, and it does still require, in some cases, tens of thousands of dollars to get that bachelor's degree, which for a lot of families is a tremendous hardship and requires a lot of planning. And even the most responsible families do often have to take out loans. So what we need to make sure is when they do take out those loans, that protections are afforded so that people aren't taken advantage of. How important is that sort of thing to both of you? Now, I, I realize you're moving on into the later years of your college careers, but still, protections for yourselves and your families, very important. Christiana? It's important um, because the students at STIC and also surrounding community colleges need to know that if they do want to graduate and pursue a four-year degree, they need to know the responsibilities of taking on a loan in their cases, and they need to know the rights that they have within the loan. And I think the ombudsman is just a wonderful resource um, because it really protects the students. And as Senator Lesser was saying, um, a lot of the times the loan is to protect the banks and not to protect the students. And within a lot of these loan contracts, you have um, you have clauses that say that the student cannot seek outside help or outside advice from anyone else. So this ombudsman really acts as an advocate on behalf of the student. And I just think it's a really great stepping stone for the student to be able to have the confidence to move forward onto a four-year program if that's what they choose to do. Mm -hmm. Juhi, let me ask you real quickly again. I want to go back to talking about the work you did for the not-for-profit, trying to make sure other students understood really the spots they could get in or they'd gotten into. How important do you think what we're talking about today is to really put an end to the kind of problems you saw? And you got all of about 20 seconds. <laughs> it is, um, it's extremely important. It's extremely important for not only community college students to understand, but high school students to understand as well. Um, because they are faced with the decision of four-year school or two-year school and what that means. Um, for Christiana and I, the two-year school provided not only a stepping stone, but a, um, a platform, really, to, to set ourselves up to be able to go on to public and private institutions. Um, and I think it's very important for students to understand uh, programs like the MATCH program, um, Mass Transfer. These are all programs that are there to facilitate them into their later experiences in four-year colleges. All the time we have, Christiana Tadeo, Juhi Dasrath, State Senator Eric Lesser, thank you all for coming in and for bringing us this information. Thank you. Thanks.